I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Shumai, welcome. I ordered ages ago, I ordered a couple of like uh, Bitcoin themed stamps. So it says buy Bitcoin, and then you know, some people stamp currency with it. I don't know why they do that because that's uh, illegal, but some people do. And they were pretty popular, and I gave a couple out to my friends and stuff. And then I saw a few people online talking about, you know, stamps, Bitcoin stamps. And my kids had these little uh, stamp uh, toys. Um, so I thought there must be somewhere I can I can get some of those custom made. So I ended up ordering like thousands of custom made um, by Bitcoin stamps. I give them out of conferences and to other, when I go to Bitcoin meetups and stuff, I you know give a few out to people, um, almost like a business card or something. Uh, but a lot of people they wanted more than one or more than two, and they said, "Look, can I buy some from you?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, okay, maybe one day I'll set up a shop or something online." Uh, and you know, I think maybe like two dollars per stamp is probably about a fair price. I've also got loads of like stickers which I've had made at, at certain points. Um, I've got like you know all my like electronic components which uh, complement the, the the tutorials I do. I've got the bags of these ESP 32s and um, yeah, and more stickers here. I've got some e-paper stickers and sorry, some e-paper um, uh, modules and all, all the components you need to make the projects which I make. Um, so it seems to make sense to make like a little shop, uh, and then that's a good way for people to be able to support uh, the BTC IoT work. Uh, if they want to support the show, then they can they can they can go and buy some something from there. Um, so today's tutorial is going to be setting up a WooCommerce shop, and I'm going to use uh, OpenNode's excellent WooCommerce plugin, um, which is really straightforward, uh, and um, that then I can accept Lightning payments on my on my shop on my uh, online shop. Um, those lightning payments then uh, can concatenate out to a Bitcoin mainnet address or if you want to you can have it uh, send directly to a, um, a bank account although I'll just be concatenated out to a, a mainnet address um, and have a little you know hardware wallet for the funds to go on to and then use those funds and to hopefully buy more products and um, uh, and keep the shop going so yeah it should be fun I'm gonna set up a like from scratch you know well I've got the, the domain and the, the hosting package and the the SSL certificate as well I've got that set up um, but that's about it so uh, pretty much from scratch I'm gonna build the website um, and then uh, yeah and then hopefully start you know accepting orders for some of my some of my bits and bobs I've taken a couple of pictures of some of the products I want to sell so here's my uh, here's my buy Bitcoin stamp um, and I, I chucked it through GIMP and then I um, uh, Increase the the contrast to try and make it pop out a little bit more um, and then what else have we got in here? We've got They're quite large images. I've got another picture here where I've stamped it on the uh, Yugoslavian 10 billion uh, dollar uh, Yugoslavian note there um, And then I've got a picture of the SP32 This is my logo. So um, The website the domain I bought is called gigawatt.co um, and then 1.21 gigawatts is kind of the the name, I suppose, the name of the shop, I guess, even though it's not the same name as the URL, which is probably a bad thing, but I don't really care. Um, that's going along with, you know, the Star, the, the Star Trek, the um, Back to the Future theme of some of the projects, uh, like the flux capacitor point of sale terminal, um, and the, um, uh, the I think it's called 1.21 is the the um, sweet machine. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm sticking with that theme. This is my my logo. Um, uh, I like the Back to the Future theme because uh, I think, you know, because a lot of the stuff I do is with lightning and I think, uh, you know, the idea of, it was, it was a Elizabeth Stark interview where she said, gave the example of the, you know, adding more, um, uh, uh, adding more uh, lanes onto a highway to increase the, the throughput um, and rather than doing that it's better to make a new protocol and then, you know, just teleport from one side to the other. And then that kind of, in my head that kind of popped out as you know back to the future where we're going we don't need roads um uh and uh yeah so so that and obviously with back to the future there's you know there's lightning and stuff and there's something about bitcoin and its ability to kind of like store time and i think i'm waffling now but um is it, it back to the future seems like a good theme for me so i've kind of nicked that theme hopefully i won't get in trouble with copyright stuff i don't think this i think this looks enough not like the doc this is like a um a bit of open source art somebody did somewhere which is pretty cool 
so yeah, so I've got my SP32, I've got my uh, 10 billion dollar Yugoslavian note, I've got this, is this like a, 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 a kit? So with this kit you can build, let me think, you could build the e-paper price checker, you could build the panic alarm, you could build the um, uh, the lightning sweep machine uh, module thing, so the thing which actually turns the sweep machine on and uh, goes and fetches a payment. You could build uh, the point of sale, the flux capacitor, because it's got the keypad. Um, so this whole kit here, you know, I think I'll sell it for like thirty dollars or something, and then you can do like six or seven or seven, you know, seven or eight of my my tutorials then off the off the YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I've got this, this is more expensive Bitcoin stamp. That's like, um, I think I'll have to sell that for like $20 or something. Um, I wouldn't buy that personally, I'd buy the little ones, they're, they're, they're really good. And then I've got some stickers too. So I've got a pack of stickers, which I'm selling. Uh, because I, I really don't like pay any attention to um, shit coins, I didn't know that that was actually the Ripple logo. And I spent, <laughs> I spent ages, like hours, building like a, a flux capacitor type logo. Um, for my flux capacitor project, uh, and then um, and then and then uh, when some I've got a sticker on my laptop, and someone said, "Why well, have got the Ripple sticker on your laptop?" And then I googled Ripple's logo, and I was like, "For God's sake, man!" So I think it's it's probably a given that any logo you develop, there's going to be a shitcoin which has probably got that logo already. So uh, so yeah, so that's um, they're, they're the images I've, I've already set up. I think the hardest thing with websites is content, so I, I was quite keen on making those things first. So I don't have to faff around afterwards. I can really get my get get stuck in there. Um, so let's have a look here now. So uh, so yeah, so I've gone with one two three reg. They're just like a crappy UK uh, hosting company. Well, not crappy. I think they're all right. They're pretty good. I think they're a subsidiary of Heart Internet, which a lot of people seem to use. Um, but Heart Internet have like quite expensive packages meant for like. Uh, um, resell stuff whereas uh, one to three reg is more direct so I got a pretty cheap package um, and uh, yeah it's got like an SSL certificate and I've set the SSL certificates so this is what I got so far gigawatt.co and I got my little SSL certificate welcome to a new website that's the standard like you know PHP file which is already on, on the hosting um, so once you like go into your web hosting you can um, in one to three reg you can uh, open up your cPanel so most things have like a cPanel thing um, and then most of them have the ability to like, they have like scripts for automating stuff. So WordPress is super popular. So I'm going to uh, install uh, WordPress into my, into my hosting. The back end of hosting always seems to be really sluggish and slow. Um, so you just have to, you know, bear with me on that. Uh, right. So if I click on install now, it should just install. Cool, there we are. So it's installed. Um, your CGI script has been installed to Jigawatt, 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 Jigawatt. Please note, whichever link that you click will become the default URL for the site. If you go to the wrong one, for example, if you need a temporary URL, um, you can change the default URL by logging into WordPress and going to settings general. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to click on Jigawatt.co. Brilliant. So I need a single website. So I'm actually, this is just running the script, which is in, um, oh, it's not HTTPS, that's weird. Uh, this is running like the, the install script um, on my, so it's basically uploaded a whole bunch of files and now I've, I've um, logged into that file and, uh, um, and it's like an install script. So I have to give it a slight title. 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, Bitcoin Lightning Network Store. Should I say BTC IoT? Yeah, BTC IoT Bitcoin Lightning Network Store. That'll do. Uh, username. I have to put my username here, so I'm probably going to blur out now. I'll log in. I am human. Gonna log in. Cool, look at that. So I'm in the back end of my website. That's pretty good. So if I go to the front end now, 
Man, where's my SSL thing gone? Grr. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to figure that one out in a bit. I'll, I'll, I'll build, I'll make the shop, and then I'll figure out why the uh, SSL isn't working. So this is my, my website so far. It's just like a standard WordPress website at the moment. Um, but we're going to use uh, WooCommerce. WooCommerce, there we are, um, which is like an e-commerce plugin for WordPress. This turns your WordPress website into a um, fully functional uh, shop. Okay, so I've got to activate it. Next Kingdom. Right, so the following wizard will help you configure a shop so you can get started quickly. Why do I need to put my crap in? That's annoying. Right, cool. Uh, accept debit and credit and debit cards. No, I don't want to do that. Um, collect payments from customers offline. I'll just continue. I don't want to. I don't want to accept uh, any card payments or anything like that. So shipping method to the United Kingdom, flat rate. Ooh, I don't know what should I charge for shipping for the United Kingdom? Like two quid, I suppose. And then uh, to other zones. By uh, other zones, location's not covered by other zones. Live rates from specific car UPS union extensions available for WooCommerce here. Hmm, I'll probably look into that in a bit. Print ship on labels at home, we recommend a ship station, blah blah blah. Now I'm alright, thanks mate. Um, cool. Please fill out this field. Let's go for a fiver, shall we? We can ship to most places for a fiver. Um, storefront free theme. Designer of WooCommerce integration toggle down will install storefront. Um, automated taxes, Mailchimp, Facebook, uh, plus our Facebook. Don't care about Mailchimp. <laughs> um, automated tax calculation and uh, workout powered by WooCar. I suppose we do need that, don't we? So let that do its thing. No skipping that. Um, okay. So. Next step, create some products. You're ready to create products for your store, create product. This is pretty easy. Uh, new product. So, what have we got? We have, should we do stickers? Um, stickers. Uh, a pack of Fun, high, pack of fun, high quality stickers. It's all right, isn't it? Good description. Really sells the product. Um, product data, simple product, group product, blah, virtual downloadable, general, regular price. Um, how much am I going to sell my stickers for? Should we say Fiverr? Probably some for more, because they were pretty expensive to buy. Some for six. Um, tax status, taxable, tax class, standard. I guess so. Uh, add media. I'll add some media, shall I? Can I drop files there? I can. I like dropping files. Okay. Pop that in there then. Lovely. Sense product. Ace. Cool. Yeah. I think that's inventory. Oh, inventory. What's that? What's that mean? Stock keeping unit. Uh, in stock. Manage stock. Enable stock management at product level. Ah, stock quantity. Cool. Um, so I've got like ten of them, I think. 
allow back orders no sold individually enable this to only allow one item to be bought by a single order that's a bit mean isn't it uh, what else we got shipping weight with it's nothing is it link products <laughs> I'm so amateur at this get more options blah 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 that'll do um, publish let's see what this looks like then all right cool let's take a little look if anything's changed yeah okay well this is the storefront thing isn't it all right so where's like all my product hmm sample page check out baskets empty okay let's get that logo in there shall we it's too confusing I need to, I need to see my logo in there so storefront here we are appearance storefront oh no I don't want that um, uh, header here we go uh, sighted ooh Jesus uh, site identity tagline that's what that bit should be isn't it that should be there yeah well, it's a little bit makes a little bit more sense site icon icons logo that's what we want that one there please have it select that use the full thing I'll skip cropping out, yeah. Cool. What does that look like now then? Hey up. Oh, I've not saved it or something. Oh, I yeah, publish. Sweet. There we are. That's looking better already. Look at that. Yeah, my shot looks dope. Um, so. Yeah, I've got to figure out like how to do the the, the front page, I suppose. Uh, had a yeah, it all looks pretty cool to me. For uh, background, background color now. Uh, product page. Okay. All right now, um, I've got some additional CSS. Yeah, I've been having a little fiddle. I use an inspect element. And I've got some additional CSS. I want to stick in here. Um, just to make it like tighten it up a little bit uh, so this is it without the additional CSS and this is it with the additional CSS boom so it makes my logo a little bit bigger and then you know it like yeah that's pretty much pretty much all it does um, uh, so yeah um, so I'm adding that I just don't have to publish it yet do I know uh, no thanks skip the tour um, and then right so I'm clicking on my home page settings now and I've got um, your latest post I want a static page and I want um, shop why's my picture not showing up that sucks okay um, so I suppose I probably just need to add like publish I need to add Um, published okay cool I'm really bad at multitasking this is why some of these tutorials have, have a, quite a fair amount of ums and ahs in uh, right I, th I think that's okay let's let's go to install plugins no don't plugins what do you want uh, add new we're gonna add new plugin stupid I'm not a jetpack thing I hate stuff like that right so um, I'm gonna type in open node in here here we are, cool look. Brilliant. Accept Bitcoin instantly via open node. Sweet. Install. Installed. Activate. So yeah, view details. Let's have a little look here now. Installation. Install it, yep, done that. Activate the plugin through the plugins menu. Enter API credentials into WooCommerce open mode plugin settings. Admin WooCommerce, click checkout tab, 
find open node in payment gateways click settings right so you'll need to go to open node and you will need to um, set up an account with open node which I've always or, or I've already done um, uh, set up an account with open node and then in open node you'll need to go to I think in order to get API keys you need to like activate it as um, uh, activate them maybe it's in settings or something um, yeah I think it's in settings somewhere and then once you've done that um, integrations integrate payment open it into your site yeah 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 here we go um, you can you can set you can generate an API so I'm gonna make a new API key permission type invoices it's gonna make invoices and we'll call this woo well, we'll call this gigawatt so that's where I blur out isn't it um, cool is that done that yeah oh no, I think I've done it again uh, um, and then in here I put in my key I guess save changes settings have been saved just sort of secure connection yeah and then I'll sort the HTTPS thing out in a bit um, enable Bitcoin payments by an open node and click on that I'm having to blur out probably because of my API token thing here all right, that's cool. Payments. All right, so all these are turned off. Yep, they're all turned off. Great, apart from open node, which isn't turned off. Fantastic. Next, I suppose I just need to add like a load of products. Let me have a look at my why well, my image isn't coming up for my stickers. Let's edit you. Stickers. How do I like? I want that to be. Delete that. I reckon it, I need to add him here instead, putting the image in the wrong place. It's pretty cool you can add extra images though. Um, so that's stickers, so I'm going to add, does that work? I hope that worked. Yep, that worked, great, cool. I need to get rid of all this crap, don't I? How do I get rid of all this? Is that like widgets or something? It's been quite a while since I've been on uh, WordPress. So sidebar, yeah, here we go. Just delete all this. Search, no, I don't need search. There's not nearly enough products. Recent comments, archives, blah, blah, blah. Delete all this. Categories, no. I can always add them, you know, at a later date if I want to. Below header, full column, boom, boom, boom. It's all empty, it's good. Do I need to save it or just it saves automatically? So if I refresh that now, will it just get rid of all that? Yeah, baby. That's looking sweet, look at that. I wouldn't mind like a buy, um, accept Bitcoin accepted thing. I'm going to Google that and I'll get one of those. Uh, Bit Bitcoin accepted here. Right, let's have a little look, shall we? Um, there we are, lovely, classic. Uh, save that. And then, okay, so I've got my Bitcoin accepted here thing. Cool. Um, footer four, I guess, maybe. What do I add? Um, image, custom HTML, gallery image. There we go. I'm going to add an image. Uh, let's do a bit of drag and drop in. I like drag and drop in. That's what I want, thank you very much. Gonna add that. Link to, no. Save that. Does that mean I'm gonna get like a funky, go oh, there we go, look at that. Ah, that's brilliant, that is. All right, um, so products. Let's add some new products, shall we? so impatient over these things. Well, I don't even know what I've got to sell. What have I got to sell? Um, 
Sweet. Publish. Nice. Stickers, self-inking by Bitcoin stamp. Pre-ink by Bitcoin stamp. This is cool. Right, so I'm going to order a pre-ink by Bitcoin stamp now and see what happens. Uh, view basket. Right, I don't want them stinky stickers. Proceed to check out. So two pounds shipping, two pounds for the stamp. So if I buy like two of them, there, there we are. So it's just flat shipping. Some enter some enterprising soul could just buy all one thousand seven hundred fifty of them, and they'd, they'd have to like pay two pounds for shipping. That'd be quite funny. Um, Okay, so yet again, I'm going to pay myself some Bitcoin. So all, all I seem to do these days is pay myself Bitcoin. Right. So, billing address. I'm going to have to plug my phone in. It's actually got some charge, so I can pay myself. Right, first name. Uh, Roger. Ver. Ooh, four pounds. Nice. The invoice is being crafted. I like open node. I think I will pay. Oh, I can pay with on chain. I'm not going to pay with on chain. Okay, there we are. So five dollars. Am I going to pay five dollars? I'm going to click on pay. Whoa, nice. Payment delivered. That's sweet. Yeah, I paid that much. Brilliant. What happens when I go back to the site? Order received. Order number 30. Nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. So there we are. Just paid myself some money. Um, so I think I have to sort out the uh, SSL thing on the website. Um, yeah, the reason you get this like this bar at the top is because uh, I'm currently logged in. I need to get rid of that sample page thing as well. Let me do that. I'll get rid of that sample page. Where's that? Pages. All pages. Sample page. Bin, please. Privacy policy. What's that? I think that's probably going to go in the bin, too. Yes. Um, uh, is there a privacy policy up here? I'll probably have to make a privacy policy at some point, I guess. Or nick someone else's. There must be an open source one out there somewhere. Um, so yeah, the reason this bar thing's at the top here is because um, I I'm logged in to um, to WordPress. If I log out, it should go away. Shall I log out and see what it looks like? Okay, not the bar thing. There we go. So um, yeah, I've got a fully functional Lightning uh, Bitcoin accepted here shop. I'm going to go sort my SSL certificate thing out because for some reason it's gone away. Um, one, two, three, Reg. If you do use them, they're pretty good. They got like loads of support, so um, they can help with that. Um, and that is it. That's that's a, that's a shop. Just as you saw how quick that was to make. It wasn't hard at all using the regular storefront um, uh, theme. So there we are. Made a uh, a shop. It was really quite easy. Um, probably the hardest part was actually just signing up for the hosting and sorting the, the SSL certificate thing. Was a bit of a pain in the ass. I haven't done that in ages, and I've forgotten how to do it. Um, but uh, you know, they, any hosting provider will talk you through that process. And you will need that if you're handling like people's personal details. Um, so yeah, it works. It's up and running. Uh, uh, I'm going to see if I can sort of that thing so you don't need to put your phone number in. I mean, all I think you really need is like you know, an alias, not even a name, and then an address. It doesn't even have to be your own address. Some address where you can send some, where I can send the product to. Um, and then an email address as well in case I need to contact you. So I'll see if I can change it to that. I've got to sort the SSL certificate out. Um, probably do a privacy policy thing too, uh, but there we are. Thanks, uh, uh, thanks for watching. If you do want to support uh, the BTC IoT um, series and some of the shows I've done, then by all means go on there, buy some bits and bobs, buy some of those little Bitcoin uh, stamp things, buy Bitcoin stamps. Um, whatever you do, go to stamping fiat currency because that's illegal. Um, uh, and uh, that's it really. So you know. Go and make your own uh, WooCommerce shop uh, and then accept Lightning uh, and Bitcoin on it. It's really easy to do using OpenNode. Uh, they provide an excellent service. Um, and until next time, um, yeah, keep hacking and uh, I'll see you again. Cheers.